Hi, Internet. Welcome to the Grudge Roaring YouTube channel. It is Thin Lizzy Thursday. For all the new subscribers that came here from uh, the Tragically Hip reactions, um, so I don't really do reactions <laughs> anymore on this channel. I basically do just Thin Lizzy Thursdays and the Grudge Roaring show. Um, but you know what? If there was enough demand for more Tragically Hip reactions on this channel, maybe I'll do one. Maybe. I don't know. If, if the demand is there... We'll, we'll see what happens, you know. I, I like giving the people what they want, uh, but, you know, been very busy as of late. i uh, been working two jobs, um, working on my writing projects. Um, just gave my, my wife a little gift, which is a video game that I created for her. Uh, and so that took some time, and so that was just a, a fun little side thing I was doing, just um, help with the burnout of, of working so much. Um but, uh, you know, possibly more reactions uh, if the demand is high enough. Um, so, you know, thank you for the, uh, for the feedback on those videos. Um, but, yeah, so Thin Lizzy Thursday, it's a thing that I started doing and then I didn't stop doing because I like completing things and we haven't completed the catalog. There's a lot to go through and the song is not chosen by me. It's chosen by Random Number Generator. So I'm going to see what we get this week. And uh, once again, I'm rooting for something from Chinatown. Probably won't get something from Chinatown. Let's see if it's even Thin Lizzy this week. We have got we have got a song today. This is certainly a song. This is certainly oh man, I should uh, grab my water so it's closer because there's gonna be some talking in this episode. Oh man, whoo yeah. So we've got we've got a heavy one and not just musically. So we have got which I mean you saw from the title. Boom! We've got some day she is gonna hit back off thunder and lightning. Um, I mean, I feel like you'd have to be pretty dense to not guess what the song is about based on the title. Pardon me for the coughing. Uh, but yeah, basically this is the, uh, Thin Lizzy taking the bold stance against domestic violence, which should not be a bold stance, but, um, it's something that's really not addressed in hard rock music, especially for the era. Um... And I think this is just, an first of all, it's an awesome song musically, but lyrically, it's really cool that Phil can write a song like this, which is about, uh, you know, how you should not hit your woman. And it's it's something that, you know, should be addressed more in music. Like, domestic violence is a huge, huge problem all over the world. And so for this hard rock, heavy metal band to, like, sing about this in a sincere way and, uh, like, bring awareness to the issue and also make it, um, you know, empowering um, towards the woman where it's not just victimization. I just think it's um, it's just awesome on every level. It shows that Phil is a very thoughtful guy, very empathetic, cares about people, and shows that you can be, like, a tough guy. Uh, like, you can be tough, you can be strong, but that doesn't mean that like, hitting a woman makes you tougher strong. That doesn't make you tougher strong. And so Phil is showing that, like, caring about people in that way, you can still have that warrior spirit without taking out your, you know, masculinity on other people. Like, you don't have to hit others to empower yourself. So, I mean, you know, you know, the opening track on the album is Phil talk about, you know, getting in a bar fight. And sort of the uh, idea there is that, you know, he will maybe fight an equal, but he won't fight, you know, someone defenseless. And so it's showing that, like, there's there's a balance to life. There's nuance to life. And so you can be a person, you know, like myself, who has gotten into fist fights, but that doesn't mean you would ever hit a woman. So there's, you know, there's rules and uh, ways that, you know, one can conduct your life and live a life of honor. And so it's just, this is 
just really great lyrical content, uh, really great musical content. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. Those are my thoughts before uh, even, you know, listening to the track. Like, we haven't even started it. Um, that's just my preamble to what we're going to get into. But I've got the lyrics pulled up. Yeah, let's let's get this going. So this is Someday She Is Going to Hit Back off Thunder and Lightning. Once it loads. Oh yeah, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. This video is brought to you by Raycon Wireless Earbuds. Um, this video is brought to you by YouTube not loading quite yet. So, apologies, kids. And... Alright. Yeah, so musically, this is very much uh, a melodic 80s rock kind of song. And so just the kind of melodies and chord progression they're using is not of uh, traditional Lizzie. But I don't think that matters because it's so great here. Um, longer intro than I remembered. Uh, you know, got, you know, thunder and lightning in the background. And uh, you got, you know, just that, that build with that awesome drum fill into it. But... um. You know, great momentum, great power to the vocals. Uh, it's very driving. This one doesn't really, it's not necessarily one of the catchier songs in terms of like big hooks, but I think it still works in the way that last week's song didn't work as much for me. So, um, lyrics as pulled up by Genius, which, you know, potential inaccuracies. Uh, woman don't like it, hurting her this way, someday she is going to hit back. The woman don't like me in her own way, someday she is going to hit back. Woman don't like it, treating her like this, someday she is going to hit back. The woman she don't love the lonely, someday she is going to hit back. I mean, so it's kind of, um, following kind of like, um, almost like a blues lyrical structure, but not a blues musical structure. So, you know, very, you know, clever nuances there. Uh, the song is sort of, um, lyrically, it's... It's not necessarily a deep storyteller song that uh, that Phil would do, so it's not necessarily painting a picture, painting a narrative, but it's more just like cut into the pure emotion of the subject matter, which I think works very well for this piece. I think this is absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, let's wind a hair and get back to it. Yeah, I'm sorry, that instrumentation was all just so tasty. Just um, the, the richness of the chord choices, the harmonies, uh, the drum fills, just everything about it. That aces, aces right here. Awesome stuff. Yeah, so interesting lyrics here. Woman don't like it, begging on her knees. Someday she is going to hit back. Oh, please, oh, oh, please, please don't desert me. Someday she is going to hit back. So it seems like the oh, please, oh, please don't desert me is a quote of the, of the woman on her knees. And then it goes into, 
Women don't like it treating her this way. Someday she's going to hit back. There is tenderness in the heart of the lonely. Someday she's going to hit back. And so this sort of um, goes really well into the psyche of, of someone who is a victim of abuse in that, um, you know, they, they don't they don't want to resort to violence themselves. They, in many ways, have this, you know, warped affection for the abuser. And, you know, because of fear of loneliness and a fear of, um, you know, the unknown, lack of acceptance, fear of going out without a partner often lets them accept abuse for longer than they should. And then it eventually festers up into fighting back against the abuse. So, um, once again, brilliant lyricism. You know, Phil was really a, a man of the world, a man of the people, and a man who understood and cared about people from all walks of life. Just just awesome stuff. I'm going to rewind just a hair. <laughs> Yeah, that entire section was just plain awesome. Oh man, is this is this a Warden uh, co-write? Because musically, this seems to have a, a different vibe than, um, like I said, a lot of Lizzie stuff. But it's awesome. Often I don't like uh, Darren Warden's uh, keyboard leads. Not here. That was freaking fantastic. Worked so well with the material. Just mwah. Chef's kiss. You know, great guitars. Great coughing. All the coughing today. Sorry about that. It is super dry in here, and my water is so far away. Uh, let's see. What is the... Someday she is going to hit back. Boom. Downey, Lionet, and Warden. Yep, I was sensing some Darren Warden uh, co-writing on this, and hey, he wrote... Man, he co-wrote some killer tracks for this album. This is the one, The Sun Goes Down, Heart Attack, so... Yeah, freaking phenomenal contributions from Darren Warden here. And, of course, you know, the rest of the band. I mean, John Sykes, um, Scott Gorham, Brian Downey, and, of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Phil Linett. Um, Yeah, this is just, this is freaking phenomenal. Yeah, track two on side two. Absolutely love it. Let's rewind just a hair. And that section was so freaking great. Just the the harmony guitars underneath seem to give the vocal even more emotion and power. It gives you the, this very like bittersweet, triumphant sadness thing that's just really awesome. She feels so lonely. She feels so blue. He has lost her now. A woman you knew what she could do, and then intersected with a woman don't like it throughout those lines. Um, fan friggin tastic. Uh, genius. Yeah, this is awesome.
man, what a thunderous ending there. And then, lyrically, woman don't like it, she says it has to stop. The woman says she doesn't love me. Woman don't like it, the woman don't say a lot. With one last kiss, she leaves him lonely. So that way it does still make it a little bit of a storyteller thing where then it goes into the psyche of the abuser and then he is ultimately left alone because of what he has done. And, um, yeah, just um, very, very just all around brilliant piece fantastic i mean i just you know th what what more can i say it's brilliant lyrically brilliant musically um once again the people who say oh man thunder and lightning they were running on fumes and didn't have any ideas i mean i, I bro i don't know what to tell you like i think this is this is really really great i think um the fact that you have a hard rock at this point, a heavy metal band, addressing these song, these kind of topics in lyrical form, in a respectful, intelligent way, um, you know, I think it's great. I think it's really great. And now, we come to the part where we see where this ends up in our ranking. All right. Ooh, this is where it gets tricky. Um, man, so I, I'm very conflicted because there are some great songs on here. Like, as great as this is, I, it's harder to to rank it above certain things. Okay, so safely, it is definitely better than Don't Play Around. So that's that's the lowest it can go, is right below Emerald. Mm. I think Emerald is, a, is stronger musically. So that is actually where I'm going to put it. Oh man, that is so tiny. Ooh, that looks terrible. I right, well, we will fix that. Yeah, that seems ah man, it feels so low. But just like the stuff I have above it is just really excellent. I'm also really debating like Speed King's <laughs> ranking here because I kind of ranked it based upon the songwriting and like it just being a, a killer Deep Purple song, but like I I did the Funky Junction reaction, so I'm like, is Speed King too high? <laughs> Probably. Um, what an absurd ranking. Um, but yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna put it for now. That's where I'm feeling. It feels so low, but it's just I there's um there's a certain like way. You know, some of the songs just, like, strike a chord in my soul where, like, I can't put it above that chord that is stricken in my soul. But that doesn't mean this isn't, like, freaking phenomenal. Um, I, I really think this is truly excellent. A song to be proud of. Um, you know, just really, really great. So I'm definitely curious as to what you guys think of this in the comments down below. Uh, for the new viewers, actually, I'm, I'll, I'll scroll through the list just so you can see it. Alright, C rank, y'all seen that, seeing that, ha ha, B rank, A rank, S rank, double S rank, triple S rank, quadruple S rank. Yeah, so uh, if you see a Thin Lizzy song that's not on there, it's because we haven't gotten to it yet. There's a lot of songs, so calm down, we'll get to it. Um, but yeah, definitely curious as to where you guys would uh, rank this personally. Like I said, I think it's excellent, and I'm looking forward to seeing the commentary. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to do liking, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, everyone.